Welcome to the second video in our Exploring the Scientific Method video series. This is all about the prediction or the hypothesis. Let's remember we're dealing with a Mentos and Coke experiment, adding Mentos to Coke. In our previous video, we made observations about the reaction, and we used those observations to come up with a question. Does other sodas work as well as Diet Coke or maybe even better? The issue with this question is it's not really testable. How do I know if one works better or another? I need to change how I ask the question. Does the type of soda affect the height of the reaction? Notice I can test this now. I'm figuring out if one soda is better than the other by how high that soda stream goes. The important part of this question is it has things that I can test. These things that I can test are called variables. I'm going to pause talking about the scientific method for a moment to talk about variables. Variables are the factors or parts of the experiment. Most of the time, there are things that change, but there are actually things that are stay the same too that we're going to talk about in the next video segment. The two types of variables that change are the independent variable and the dependent variable. The independent variable is what the scientist changes, what you're in charge of. The dependent variable is what the scientist measures. We must have both components. Looking at our experiment with our Mentos and Coke, we have those two in our question. What I am measuring is the height of the reaction because that's what I'm measuring. It makes it my dependent variable. What I'm changing from one trial to another is the type of soda. This is what I'm in control of as a scientist. This is my independent variable. You must have the ability to, in any experiment, identify an independent variable and a dependent variable. I've gathered all the supplies. We have five different types of soda and we have Mentos. What do you think is going to happen? Pause and make a prediction right now. Write it down. You have your prediction. In science, we take that prediction and we turn it into what's called a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess. We have a very specific format for a hypothesis in science. A hypothesis is written as an if-then-because statement. If we want to fill in the blank with our independent variable, then we will fill in the blank with our dependent variable because we're going to put in our reasoning. You're going to have to slightly reword your independent variable, dependent variable, to make the sentence make sense. Pause the video and try to write your hypothesis with this experiment. In a second, you're going to see my hypothesis. It might not be the same as yours, but that's okay. My hypothesis is if Coke is used instead of Diet Coke, then the height of the soda stream will be higher because Coke is more sugar than Diet Coke. Notice how I follow the proper format. I have if, then my independent variable that Coke is used instead of Diet Coke. Remember we're changing the type of soda? I have then my dependent variable. What's going to happen to it? I think the height of the soda stream will be higher. And then a because statement, my reason, why I picked what I picked. A hypothesis does not have to be correct. It just has to have your independent dependent variable. It has to have an if then statement. It has to be measurable and has to be testable. If you have those components and your hypothesis turns out to be wrong, it's okay. It's the reason we do the experiment. This wraps up our second video. Hopefully you have the ability to take a question and turn it into a hypothesis. And identify the key variables along the way, the independent and dependent variable. We have a lot of practice with this. Our next video segment is on how to take your hypothesis and your question and your variables and turn it into a good experimental design. See you then.